Hey everyone, this is Rico. I'm going to show you now my Insecto deck. I decided to pick up Insectos from they got hit by the Banless because I didn't want to bandwagon the deck like everyone else. I genuinely wanted to play the deck out all the cards and just chose not to play it. But the deck is really good. It's broken in my opinion. I'm going to be here to show you the deck. I'm going to go through, tell you what every card does as if you didn't even know how to play it. So let me start. One Dragonfly, one Hornet. These are your cards I got hit to one. Staples, you need this to OTK. He spams the field with monsters by one by himself. And this destroys everything. Um, they're still good. Really great. Moving on. Triple Centipede, you have to play three. They search of your deck. They search for all the things so you can OTK. And with Ladybug, this is your deck engine. You just draw these and you'll get into all this stuff. Next, you have the One Hopper. One Hopper is always good. You need the One Hopper. You can play two. Um, you're not a noob if you play two Hopper. All Hopper does is make it easier for you to OTK. But you only need one hopper for the OTKs. But if a monster is destroyed, you're going to need the second hopper. But it's really good, same way. Next, Mantis and Giga Weevil. Giga Weevil is very important. Everyone needs to play it. What it does is allow you to OTK easier. It opens up more play. Allows you to loop the plays. It's, it's stupid good. It's really, really good. I've seen so many people OTK with this card over this card. You don't really need, you need both of them. It's like having this card and not playing it. It's like you have Monster Reborn at 1 and you decide not to put it in your deck. That's what it's like. This card is so essential and you can search. Imagine a searchable Monster Reborn in your deck and you wouldn't play it. It's really good. What they do is equip to a monster and if they are destroyed or just sent to the graveyard, they special summon a monster back from your grave. Not only that, they give an additional boost. Giga Mantis gives your monster 2400 and Giga Weevil gives your monster 2600 defense. Next, the tech cards. Beatron, because I play Insect Imitation. And Gokipon. Gokipon searches out majority of the deck. What he does is when he is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. He can add a monster to your hand with 1500 or less attack. Now you can add Dragonfly, Hornet, Ladybug, another one of himself, Maxi. Five different cards in the deck. Very versatile and he helps with a lot of OTKs and just add, add cards to your hand. Because you could play in Mystic Tomato, but I don't want the monster to the field, I want them to my hand. I want to draw, say example, my Hornet, I don't have access to it, or Ladybug as yet. When destroyed, I can search directly for my Hornet in my hand. And if I have Ladybug or the Hornet, I search for the Dragonfly straight in my hand. And even if you have everything and you're just waiting for one turn, you add your Maxi to your hand. Next, Double Maxi is just there to slow down your opponent. Um, they're, they're just there as maxis. Everyone knows what maxi does. And that's for the hand trap gores, just to prevent you from being OTK'd. He does not put anything towards the insecto deck as a whole. He's just there to help you not to be OTK'd. He's just there doing his own thing. But you still have to play him. He may not be a team player, but you still need him. Next, two sword. You only need two Zek Calibur. You don't need three. Playing three is excessive. Next, two insect imitation. This is broken. This is so unfair. You just tribute a monster, go for an insect monster that is one level higher than it. It opens for so much OTKs. Next, we have three mystical space typhoon. You need to play them. Sometimes it's not about destroying your opponent card. You can destroy your own card and search. Okay. 
So it's very essential to play three. I see some idiots playing two. You need to play the three. Next we have three pot of duality. You have to play all three. They help search the deck and get to your engine faster. It just opens up more play because you are not going to spam monsters or special summons until you get your dragonfly. When you get your dragonfly, you don't need this anymore. And even when that, even if you're stopped, you can still search. Next, we have the one offs Foolish Burial, which is like a second hornet, Allure, Speed Up the Deck, and Dark Hole. Dark Hole just to remove monsters and get them off the field. Onto the traps Triple, Threatening Roar. Threatening Roar stops people from attacking, as everyone should know. It's not a huge deal in other decks, but in sector deck, it's amazingly wonderful because having the monster on your field for even one extra turn so you can destroy or search for something else with centipede is beautiful. You need it, it's really great. Next, double call of the haunted. This is actually a really good card in the deck, especially since Monster Reborn got hit. But I don't play three of this. Reason being, um, it will get cloggy. You will draw it, and you won't draw your monsters because you won't play with sixteen monsters. So most time, if you play with three of this, you'll get dead hands. I used to get them a lot. And trust me, it's not fun. Next, double mirror force. Really good. I just use it to get rid of monsters. I don't play in my prison. Because prison only removing one one, so sometimes you have some big beetles like Arkler Crystal, and you have to get it off the field before you can go over there. So that's the reason why I play my mirror forces. Then the staples, torrential, bottomless, and solemn morning. These are what got hit to one in the ban list. They're all good cards. Now for what I play in the extra deck. Exostag, Volcosaurus, Shark Fortress, and Shark Fortress again for the rank 5s. I, if, if you ask why I would play two Shark Fortress instead of Tyrus or the others, Tyrus is too slow, you can get Prison, which I don't like, or Compulse, Bottomless, there are many cards I can stop him. But with Shark Fortress, if I play two, the first effect kicks in which forms a lock. And it's not hard to drop two on the field. I drop two all the time. Just that if you between prefer two and put thirteen thousand damage on board, or you put on OTK monster, say stun your opponent so you can attack for game. Just play a preference. You need to play two though. Next to rank four is we have Masquerade number hundred and four. He is your new shot master for the deck. What he does is in the battle phase, when you attack, no. Not when you attack, sorry. In the battle phase, when your opponent activates a monster effect, just negate it. Just detach one material and negate it. So you can negate three times in the battle phase. Okay, really good. Then we have Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller, we know what that does. Stun and Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. That sums it up. Then we have Acid Golem, Leviathan, Giga Brilliant. Levier, Tem Tempo, Mellow Melody, and Zen Mains for the rank 3s. They're all important, you all need to play all of them. And for only rank 2 I have, Gachi Gachi Kang Setsu. It's really good, you can play it. <laughs> it's playable. Alright, my side deck is not really built for competitions because I'm mostly judging now. But I'm just going to go through quick so you can see like what I would play or give you any ideas. Three fence in five thirds. I play them over the snowman eater. Just reason being if this get dark hole or destroyed by any shape or form, it's going to destroy a face amongst my opponent controls. Okay, just that alone. Because with the snowman eater they can cross out, destroy it. Not saying they can't cross out these, but I'll more likely summon these and just set them. And they can attack something that Snowman Eater can do. Next, 
to Fossil Dino for the E Dragons matchup, which is not fun. Trust me. If they go first, they have a complete advantage over you. Next, two effect Velos against any deck that I need them against. I don't main deck them because they don't help the insectors to accomplish anything. But I'll always side them. Next, two Messenger of Peace. You need to play the two. I side them in against E Dragons and any deck like Chaos Dragons or something with too much heavy monsters. It just stops them from killing you. With E Dragon, all their monsters except for debris can attack you over. Boy, while well, this is face up, they can't even attack down Centipede. You really need to beat them and just stall them out. Because your resources might never end, but theirs will come to an end. Dimension official to just stun your opponent. Dust Tornado for the matchups where I know, like E Dragons, they will side in Shadow and Prison Mirror for me. Or Skill Drain. Either way, you get screwed with this deck. Because they just stun you and your whole deck gets shut down when they do those things. Your whole deck. And there's no way around it except for Mystical or Dust Tornado. You have to get rid of it. Next, Ghost Match, E Dragon matchup. Iron Wall, E Dragon matchup. And. The prophecy matchup reason being why I wouldn't say play two if I have so many cards for the e dragon themselves I don't need two of these and with the prophecy matchup they can pro players can simply just go around this so you don't need to use it necessarily and that's Epid eradicator for the matchup again for the well books all right thanks everyone for watching comment rate subscribe like the video share with your friends watch it i'm out